Every industry has its peak time. For Willamette Valley wine country, that moment just passed. And this was the 37th annual Wine Country Thanksgiving. It is our biggest weekend of the year. A two-week window that aligned exactly with Oregon's two-week COVID-19 freeze, meaning no tastings inside or out. You just couldn't do any worse to a winery. Corby Stonebreaker Souls co-owns Rocco Winery in Newburgh. Leading up to Thanksgiving, Rocco's and many other tasting rooms invested in heaters and increased safety measures for outdoor spaces. And then without any warning at all, we were sh shut down. So people lost, you know, just those two weekends, a quarter of a million to half a million dollars, a lot of different wineries just saw that slip right away. We just, we have to keep looking forward. Michelle Kaufman is with Stoller Family Estate in Dayton. They tried to recoup some of those lost sales by thinking outside and inside the box. This one. They're shipping take-home tasting kits anywhere in the country for 30 bucks. And over that Thanksgiving holiday, we actually had hundreds of these go out the door for people to send to their loved ones all over the country, sending a little bit of Oregon cheer uh, to their friends and family. This week, Rocco Winery launched a similar promotion featuring full bottle sales. They hope guests will order wines for themselves, family or friends, then schedule a virtual group tasting via Zoom. We can all connect and see each other and do a tasting live where we could talk to somebody, you know, they'll answer our questions, they'll throw up pictures of their vineyard, they'll talk to you about the terroir and give you tasting notes. For those comfortable with outdoor tastings on site, they resumed on Thursday. Bradley Bauer made reservations at Stoller. I have definitely been looking forward to it for the last while. <laughs> it's been exciting to come back out again and, you know, see other businesses start to open up again and um, because it's, it's, it's hard. And it likely won't get easier anytime soon. But Michelle Kaufman is counting her blessings. We're so thankful that we're open right now in whatever capacity that we can be. And hoping to raise a glass to health and prosperity next year. Catherine Cook, KGW News.